My name is Sarah, and this is my wilderness moment. I was living in a large Midwest city at the time, very isolated, and a very bad marriage that was turning deadly. My safe place was the back of my ambulance downtown. Ever since I had become an EMT, I had dreamed of becoming a paramedic, and after a very intense year of schooling, that was becoming a reality. Not only that, but my ultimate do not dare to dream of goal was within my reach, flight paramedic. I was good at my job and I loved what I did. And then just as everything was coming together, everything shattered. I lost what support I had from my in-laws. My family was 2,400 miles away. I lost the first two of my grandparents. I lost a patient on Christmas morning. A half a dozen family and close friends were diagnosed with cancer. I ended up enduring more betrayals than I thought a heart could ever handle. To top it all off, I had a back injury, and then a head injury, and then within months, a second head injury. And my career, my dreams, a huge piece of my identity was gone in an instant. My wilderness was more of a howling wasteland. I ended up fighting with suicidal thoughts day in, day out for almost a year and a half. My hope was gone, and I felt like my entire life had burnt to the ground. I vividly remember one bitter, cold, stormy October night sitting in the grocery store parking lot, too exhausted and confused to do anything but breathe. And out of nowhere, there was a deep peace that made zero sense. Everything still hurt. Circumstances hadn't changed, but I knew that everything was going to be okay, eventually. <laughs> and I was not alone. I never had been, and that I was so very loved. Hosea speaks of God speaking tenderly to us in the desert, and that was definitely the case for me. I couldn't hear him very well over the howling of my own pain, but he was so very close the whole time. I see it so clearly in retrospect. It's rather too dark to see it at the time. I just wanted so much to live, but I just didn't see how. In the end, it was, it was very simple, not easy, but simple. Psalm 118 verse 17 says, I will not die, but live, and will proclaim what the Lord has done. I took a stand on that. I decided to live and simply kept putting one foot in front of the other. Even the tiniest effort was met and matched by his full support and power, and I would have just enough strength to do the next thing. In the end, the Lord himself did much of the work. He delights in making beauty from ashes. He just needed me to hand over my ashes and do my 5%. Seek him, seek help, accept help when offered, and not stop until I had the help I needed. And his strength covered the rest, gladly. And from my broken pieces, he indeed created something so beautiful and life-giving. Truly, he has redeemed the years of devastation 